Well, today we thought we'd introduce you into uh, how we deal with the Phantom Hunter and how we give it uh, in its anodized uh, version how we do the heat treating. Now typically when you do heat treating you would bake them all in an oven. This would make them all uniform. However, we don't want them all uniform. We want them all quite individual. So to start off with, we have been soaking these in some cleaning fluid to get rid of any debris, any grease that may be on them. And we're just going to give them a little clean. They've been then rinsed thoroughly in uh, deionized water uh, just to make sure there's nothing else left on them, um, anything left from the machining process or from people touching them. So we're just going to go through and just clean any last bits off. As you can see, I don't know how well you can see from this image, the shape is immensely intricate inside. And what many of you may know, but also many of you won't know, is that titanium is an absolute nightmare to machine. Unless you're looking for very simple shapes, you know, squares, you know, pl just plain circles, that kind of thing, they are notoriously difficult to machine. Now, we spent a huge amount of time trying to find the right people to actually do the machine work. We found more dead ends than we did um, you know, people that could actually do this kind of work. It's very, very uh, complicated to do. So to give you an idea, these ones in particular, we spent uh, the equivalent of 8,000 man hours just making the shells. I mean, break that down, um, you know, for in total, I mean, each part of the shell takes about three hours each. So that one bit took three hours. That's in a CNC machine. Now, if that had been aluminium, stainless steel, we're talking minutes, if, le if not less, depending on the design. But because this is titanium, it took three hours each. So every component that goes together, that represents six hours worth per side. So add that on both sides, there's 12 hours. That's more than a working day just to make those bits. Um, being quite honest with you, it's been an absolute nightmare trying to uh, get them so we could have them all right. Um, it really has been a labor of love. The, you know, our machine guys have broken more bits uh, than they've ever broke, ever. Um, and we found that after um, every sort of hundred sets, we destroyed the drill bits. And so we had to go again. So let's just clear this out, pop those in there. So that's, I'm not quite sure how well you can see those. So let me see if I can zoom in a tiny bit there. Let's see if we can get a better image for you. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so this is where the fun part begins. So as you know, in order to get titanium to look the way you want it to do, you know, so whether that's purples, yellows, goldy colours, blues, uh, oranges, reds, you have to heat them. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So we have just a little uh, Clark Weld uh, micro torch. Now this um, as quite a precision flame and from that we'll be able to sort of pinpoint where we want more of the heat so we can make each one a little bit more individual um, different colouring, um, different hot spots so let the fun begin okay so let's see what we can make with these so time to get the torch on. And let's heat them up. So this does take a few minutes to get the heat in. And once the heat's in, you'll start to see them changing colour. 
So at the beginning, we've got a little bit of steam coming off, just any of the residue left over from where we've rinsed and cleaned them. So we can just start to see the one over here. This one's just starting to turn. You can see that starting to yellow. And again. So I hope you guys can really see this colour. You can see it's gone gold. Look at that. Beautiful. Nice, gorgeous gold colour. Okay, so let's keep going. So the gold yellows are the first colour. We haven't got them quite hot enough yet. We can see it's getting a bit richer. There we go. I'm trying to keep it quite uniform at the beginning so we get a fairly even covering of colour in the first stage. Look at that. So now, let's concentrate the heat. You should start to see the purple coming. Oh yeah. Gorgeous. Let's do the same here. At that. I don't know if you can see that, we'll get some close-ups in a minute once we've got this done. Really quite hot now. I'm going to try and keep sort of the gold on one side where I can do and introduce sort of more of the purple and the blue on the top half of this piece. Again, we wouldn't have been able to do this in an oven. You just wouldn't be able to concentrate the heat in any particular area. Wow. Look at that. Now that is a thing of beauty. See if we can just add a little bit more colour on this one side here. There we go. Well, I think I'm going to leave it there. As you can probably see, I can't touch these things right now, but let's see if we can zoom in a little bit so you can see the final effect. So check it out. There we go. Heat treated hunter shells. Okay, so I've taken them out of the stainless steel bowl, um, put them on this uh, piece of slate just so you can see. So hopefully you can see the kind of effect that you get from the heat treating. So as you can see we've got the, the gold yellow, the purples, the blues. I mean look at that. And the beautiful thing about these is that each and every single one of these will not look the same. Every single one will be individual. No two pairs are the same. I mean not even on the same set will either side be the same, they're all completely unique and god damn they are gorgeous anyway thought I'd like to give you a little insight as just to, I mean this should just give you just the simplest idea of what goes into making just one set of hunters, I mean so far already you know we've, we've spent the, the amount of hours that are spent just to create the finish and the shells as I'm sure you're starting to appreciate is immense you know that's before we get into any other part of it it's just astronomical compared to anything else we make these have been the most complex labor intensive uh, bits of kit to ever make and it really is something you know 
something beautiful has come out of it in the end. And uh, yeah, I can't wait for you guys to hear them.